is no effective opposition to the coalition and its plans. And that's what makes the role of the Green Party more important than ever. Take nuclear power. The Conservatives are in favour, and so are Labour. And now that the Lib Dems have joined forces with the Tories, their ability to put the other side is fatally flawed. And so we have the prospect of a resurgence of a dirty, dangerous, discredited form of power just at the time when we should be, as a nation, investing in the energy sources of the future. And that's why we need the Green Party. It's the same with education. Labour championed the Academy's programme, despite all the warnings about the risks of creating a two-tier education system. And now, surprise, surprise, the Coalition has dropped any requirement that academies should gain from outside sponsorship or should help those communities most in need, any pretense of a higher social purpose is out. Michael Gove's plans are simply an ideological opposition to state education and a chance to allow private companies to make profit from our schools. And Labour, having opened the door to this in the first place, cannot mount an effective, principled opposition despite their heroic efforts to try to rewrite history. And that's why we need the Green Party. Take Trident. The public are hardly clamouring to replace it, particularly at a cost of perhaps £100 billion pounds over 30 years. And like many senior military figures, they don't see how it will make us any safer. But again, the Tories are for it, Labour are for it, and the poor Liberal Democrats are going to be let off the leash for the night to vote against, safe in the knowledge that it will go through anyway. And remember, this isn't a minor disagreement about a detail of legislation. This isn't Clause 196 of the Local Government Finance Bill. This is a question of whether Britain will spend £100 billion expanding its nuclear arsenal. And yet there is no serious debate. And that is also why we need the Green Party. Yeah.